if your friend tells you that there is a hospital which is 10 km away from your home how long will you take to reach the hospital which direction will you go the hospital could be here or here or maybe here it is hard to say where the hospital is located the reason is you have only provided with the distance which is one dimensional information one dimensional information like this one is called a scalar quantity your question to him would be which direction from home your friend tells you that the hospital is 10 km south of your home you have precise information of the location this now becomes two dimensional information distance and direction the hospital is over here two dimensional information like this is called vector quantity scalar quantities are one dimensional and vector quantities are two dimensional speed is a good example of what we call a scalar quantity in physics indicating only magnitude but not specifying any direction so that's what we call a scalar quantity only magnitude but no direction Velocity is a good example of vector quantity. The vector quantity specifies not only the magnitude but also the direction. When you add direction information to speed it becomes a vector quantity. There are a lot of scalar and vector quantities such as distance, mass, displacement, weight, force and acceleration. We will discuss each of them in our future videos. Thank you for watching till the end and see you in another informative video.